bit wary, aren't you? A little bit wary. You need to be. You have to behave yourself with this kitty cat, don't you? This is my Polly, one of my kitties, many kitties. She's very beautiful. Look at her. I'm going to give you a tip this time for dogs. I found that last week I had a couple of clients who'd lost their dogs. And this is the most tragic thing that can happen to any animal lover. If we know that a cat has passed over a dog, you know where it is. You know that it's passed over and it's in a safe place. But with a dog, if they're lost, you go through torment and anxiety and terrible, terrible stress and pain. And two of my clients last week lived in the country and they just let their dogs out. And they, one of them said to me, well, he all, they always came back. I'd let them out in the morning. They'd run around into the country and come back because they lived right out in the country. So there were lots of open fields. But then one day, one of them didn't come back. And that caused a great deal of distress. And finding lost animals is the most difficult work that I ever do because I get emotionally involved. I know how people feel. There are babies in fur clothes and cats and dogs if they get lost. Is the worst thing that can happen to any animal lover. So don't, whatever you do, just let your dog go in and out on its own. Particularly, you know, dogs, there's some very friendly ones. They make friends with people and they jump into cars. So you've got to be very protective of your animals. You can't afford to just let them go. When they're on their own, you don't know what's happening. I've had dogs shot by hunters that this has happened to in the country. I've had dogs that have been completely lost. There was one that they found, it had got 75 ticks in it, and it was not very close to death. And if it hadn't been for seeing the area where it was and the people going there and putting out flyers and seeing landmarks, which I do see, and the dog was very good at sending pictures back to me, that dog would have died an agonizing death. So please, please, don't ever let your animals run. Always be with them. Always be watching them. Take them out for walks. Good for you. Good for them.